Hey guys, I'm back with another knockout tutorial just to leave the acapella, but I've chosen a couple of tracks where it's very easy to demonstrate the effect and you'll be able to see how it works when it actually works well. So with this first track here, it's got a part of it where there is just really piano and vocals, uh, but most of it is this kind of sound here where it's a mixture of stuff. If we try to apply the effect here, I'm going to bring it out knockout. I'm going to go to the factory presets and I'm going to work with the default. What knockout does is that it tries to extract the center channel. So we need to go to extract center channel and turn that on. Otherwise nothing good happens. I'm going to increase the output gain. So you can see it's quieter because it's actually working in mon mono, it's outputting mono and it's reducing the instruments a little bit but not much. When we go to this part here where it actually produces a really good acapella, I'm going to play again. So we've got just piano. When we turn it on we get silence which means it's actually working well. I'm going to increase the right input gain to try to kill the piano. So you can see there we're getting vocals, the, the, the piano is just disappearing. Without the plug-in this is what it sounds like. Lots of piano, no vocals, and then we get vocals and piano kicking in just now. And with the plug-in. So you can see I had to imp increase the right input gain by a few decibels to try to get rid of the instruments completely. Now at the default, it actually does a pretty clean a cappella if it works. Once you start playing around with the right input gain, the blur, the high pass and the low pass, you start affecting the audio quality. So that's something you might want to play around with when you're not getting any result at all. And you want to see if you can get something that you might be able to use in your remix or your mashup. The other point I want to make is that you don't really need to have all the entire track as an acapella if you're doing a remix. You just need to have that little bit of the vocals that your audience is going to love. And if you can, if you can uh, integrate that in a remix, that might be just enough for you to be able to, to make it work. So um, I want to also use this guy here to demonstrate another thing about how this plugin works. So we're going to go just beyond this phase here. And what you'll see is that we get this happening. So I've got everything switched on. So we basically get the instruments coming back in there. But the other thing I wanted to point out is that we actually get vocals which are behaving like instruments. So if I turn off the extract center, you can see there's some chanting there, which is actually in stereo. So that chanting is coming out really loud and clear when we kill the center channel. To demonstrate that a little bit more clearly, I'm going to play that bit again using another plugin called GLS or Get Lost Singer. This one is supposed to remove the vocals and just to leave you the instruments and with this guy here you can see we've got just the piano coming through and then when we get to the vocal part here the vocals are nowhere to be found but when we get to the part where the vocals are not centered but the vocals are in the in the side channel the vocals should come back really loud and clear So at that point where it becomes loud again is the vocals there are in stereo so it's really how the track has been mixed 
which determines what effect you're going to get. This is the Beatles Eleanor Rigby. And if you have a look at this one, you can see that we've got some stuff going on here, which is a bit weird. We've got a patch here where the right channel looks very different from the left channel. And if I play that, now you probably won't be able to hear, hear that, but the right channel is vocal, the left channel is instruments, basically. So what we do in this situation is that if we try to apply the knockout plugin, again, I'm going to go to default, factory defaults, and then turn on the extract center. What happens here is that the plugin will try to remove the right channel and use the right channel to cancel out the instruments in the left, but there are only instruments in the left channel. So let's play that and see what happens. So we get a beautiful instrumental. What we can do in this situation, and there's, there's no way around this, except to go to the track and choose swap stereo channels, and then let's start again. Okay, that's still instrumental, so I'm gonna switch off the extract center. So the extract center is now off. Let's play it again. Lives in a dream, waits at the window, wearing the face that she keeps in a jar by the door. Uh, and with this one, if we were to again increase the right input gain now, it should. Lives in a dream, waits at the window. It clears up the, the vocals a little bit. So yeah, basically, uh, that is how it works. It's uh, trying to use the right channel to. Uh, remove the instruments from the left channel. Because it does that, when you apply it, I'm going to hit apply. What happens is that you get this result where it has just the one channel left. And that channel is going to be, in this case, it's going to be a decent a cappella. That's awesome. In a dream. But it is mono, so, you know, you're going to have to work with a mono track. If you don't know how to work with mono, in Audacity, you'd go and split stereo track to mono, get rid of the track you don't need, and then use the, the, the mono track that's left. You can make that a stereo track as well. You can go ahead and duplicate that. And then combine them to make a stereo track. Now, this VST came out about 13 years ago. It's still in beta. It's never left beta and it's no, lo no longer under development. So there are probably quite a lot of commercial plugins that are more powerful that have emerged since then. Uh, and I might look at some of those over the next few months. So um, yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. But I'll have a link to it. It's a free plugin. So take a look at my previous video. Take a look at another video that I'm going to link to, which shows you what you can do, even if you have even if you have not very good acapella, you can still link it with an instrumental that you create and produce a reasonably good sounding track. So when you're working with remixes, mashups, you don't have to get the really perfect acapella. You can get something that just works with whatever remix you're heading for. But take a look at the videos that I have linked to in the description. Those will be good to, to, to view. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Take care. Bye.